since we're stranded here in Buena Vista, waiting on a part to come for the RV, uh, we're going to take, Hold make, up. oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we're in Buena Vista and have some bueno candy. Oh, oh, I didn't know what you were doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's being silly. Anyway, so we're stuck here in Buena Vista waiting for the comp new compressor to come in for the mechanic to fix the RV. So while we're here, we thought we'd make the most of it and go uh, look around, see what we can find. Uh, the other day we went to, where did we go? We went to Twin Lakes, a Twin historic, Lakes. cute little town here, uh, not around here, but it's just up the road here from Buena Vista. And we went and toured that. And then today we're going to some sort of a farm that makes cheese or maybe we'll get to pet some goats and it's stuff a goat farm yeah so anyway we're excited about that so we're just gonna take you along and see what we find let's go this is where they milk the goats 12 at a time and this is the anatomy of the milk parlor and over here it even shows the parts of the dairy cow and how the attachments go on. All right, now let's go see some goats. Oh, there they are. I don't remember what she said their names were. Oh, look at the little babies. Oh, hey, fellas. I don't have anything to eat, but I'll pet on you. You don't want me to pet you. You don't pet, do you? You just want some food. <laughs> Their eyes are always so weird to me. <laughs> Kermit the Frog eyes. They are really gentle. They're close up. <laughs> okay. I want to pet on you. I want to pet you. These little babies. Did she say these were? This is Black and Decker. Black and I think this is their names are Black and Decker. <laughs> but we don't know what happened to their ears. I, I don't know if there's a certain breed of goat that have any ears, but they're cute. Yes, you are. The horse and the sheep. We're not allowed to feed them. Yeah, yeah, maybe the sheep, but I, I probably wouldn't though, just because the food that we got was specifically, I think, for the goats. The scenery here at this farm is just beautiful. So we just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we bought here at the goat farm, but we got some goat milk fudge. Uh, milk chocolate. That's going to be yummy. And then we got some garlic goat curds, which I'm interested to see what that tastes like. I love goat cheese, so uh, garlic goat curds. And then we got a couple of different soaps. We got cedar wood. Cedar wood soap. It smells good. Oh, it does. It smells so good. And then this one it's called whiskey time, but I, it, I don't know. It smells like chocolate or something. It smells delicious. I don't really think it has any whiskey in it, but nope, no whiskey in it. <laughs> so I don't, the ingredients are back here. So I'm not really sure why they call it that. But anyway, so we got us some little goodies and we supported the local farm at the same time. So that's nice. And we got to pet the goats. And so that's really interesting.
waiting for the RV to be worked on. Look at these paintings. Are they not beautiful? That was $3,100. Yeah, this one's $3,100. It's beautiful, though. I don't know if you can see it's trees and the yellow aspen leaves, I think. So pretty. I got the lamb sliders and some fries. And Shane, what'd you get? Just Smokehouse Burger? Smokehouse. Smokehouse pork. Burger pork. Oh, wow. That looks really good. Yum, yum. Can't wait to dig in. This math? <laughs> That's real math. Huh. We're here at the local historical society. And what I find interesting, here, hold on. It says that uh, pioneers started schools at home. Teachers were teenage girls. Instructional materials. These are the instructional materials, Bibles dictionaries, almanacs, hymnals, and novels. And math problems are based on farm or ranch business needs. That should probably be the way it is today, too. This is from 1933 to 1973. This tree was used by those who wanted to record their visit to Deer Creek Canyon. Uh, there are several names on here, but a couple of notable ones. One of the most famous ones is Harry Truman's home. President Harry Truman signed this tree. Isn't that cool? Huh. That is pretty cool. The day I was born, after a section of the bark was removed, exposing the smooth white surface, a pencil or bullet point was used to write with. So basically this was all whiter colored wood, probably like that. Oh it's, yeah. It's darkened over time, but yeah, this yeah. Harry Truman right there. Isn't that cool? Huh. And we've been to his house. Yeah, we've been to Harry, uh, the, his presidential museum and his house up in Kansas City. And Independence. Uh, yeah, Independence, excuse me. Yeah, sure have. That was cool. You know, I see these things all the time, but I never really knew what they were. But according to this tree, it says they were used for telegraph uh, and telephone use back in the day, I guess. So, I guess a little bit before my time. <laughs> Says this was the operator's board from Salida Hospital and it was used until the 1970s. Can you believe that? That was used until the 1970s. How archaic is this? Wow. That's cool. And then they have the different kinds of telephones up there. That one. And then this one. These are some medical stuff from way back in the day, but... Like a snake bite stuff, I guess. And what is that? I can't even say what that is. Some of inhalant. Then you've got uh, over here, you've got this magic oil liniment. I heard, I've heard of a lot of older people talk about using liniment. And you've got, let's see, what is that? Dr. Richards. Dyspepsia tablets. And there's your bandages there, and there's sulfathiazole ointment. This is funny. Does anybody remember any of this stuff? You got peppermint there. Cold tablets. And then back there, you got Dr. Scholes. Apparently, he's been around for a long time. 
That is really cool. Look at these old boots and shoes. They, were, they had such little feet back then. Of course, those are there for little kids, but look at this hat. It's made of feathers. Is that not awesome? Here's an old woolly mammoth outside the uh, Buena Vista Heritage Museum that we just went in. Well, I don't know what that's made out of, but that is cool. What is that made out of? Little strips of leather? Wire? Or I think it's wire. That is really cool. Huh. 